Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you education infographic slide. And this is how it looks when I click. It will show you a pencil shape a drawing here uh, with the icon and the text. And then again, when you click, it will show you the second pencil image, the third one, the fourth, the fifth, and sixth. So I have used a different color for each pencil or if you want you can keep it uh, one color also. Likewise I just did that one uh, some same animation uh, with little text. You can keep it one color also or you can use multiple color. So let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and go to insert shapes under rectangles select rectangle top corner surrounded so i'm just going to draw a pencil first so for that i'll drag this much size and you can see here there are two orange small uh, kind of a point so first point the top point i'm going to make it fully no curve there and below i'll drag it inside so it becomes fully curved and you press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to add one more and three. So I'm, I have made three rectangles here and then you can give some different color. For example, let me just go to format shape and I can select some different color here. Maybe I'll just select this color and here I'll just make somewhat dark color. Or if you want, you can give some gradient color also. For example, if I give the gradient color, let me just keep it only two stops. I'll select one dark color and direction. I will change this to this one. And here I'll make it somewhat lighter color. Or I can first select this and I can make it more lighter or more darker so like this you can make it also for the other so once and this the outline also i'm going to give it the same color outline i'll just make it some dark color so we got this one and then go to insert shapes select a triangle draw the triangle and rotate it to flip vertical and align it properly if you want you can give some increase the size also and then you can just say send to back shape outline make it no outline let me just increase the size some more and then you can use some gradient fill for that you can use some different color maybe i'll use some a gray and here also the same color but i will give a a darker shade for this and whichever way you want you can have it or you can give some lighter color also here now i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate and one more time control D to duplicate here I'm going to give bring it here only this much part only I'm going to cut for the nip or for the tip I'll just select this one and select this under format go to merge shape and just say intersect so you end up with this one I'll say solid fill a dark color here and just exactly place it at the bottom so you can see here almost the our shape of a pencil is ready and then I'm just going to select all this press ctrl G to duplicate and then you can reduce the size see here our pencil is uh, ready now so whichever size you need if you want to reduce it you can further reduce it 
it's up to you so once this is done I'm just going to use alt and right or left arrow key to rotate it so I'll just rotate it like this I'm going to put one here for me it looks bigger let me just make it more smaller I think this is okay and then press ctrl D again and I'm going to using the arrow key I'll put this one second here ctrl D alt I'm going to put here if you want five four three it's up to your requirement press ctrl D again and I'm going to rotate it again so one two three four five and I'm going to make one more six so here you can see here our size is our all right it's almost ready with this one then I'm going to give some more effects here if you want you can add one more or if you want you can reduce it so I'm going to use only six pencil infographics here you can align it properly if you feel that okay this alignment is not good just spend some time and align it properly now the second thing is you can give a different color for this one for example if you feel that okay this you want to give blue and here also I'm going to use some blue here and here some what light blue and then here also I'm going to use a simple a blue color here and again as I said that you have to just change the outline which I'm going to use some dark blue so likewise you can just change the color for each a pencil and I'm going to shapes insert one rectangle draw rectangle I'm going to give a cutout shape here and for this I'm going to use the same background color I can use the eyedropper and put the same color here and I'm going to give some shadow effect shadow effect I will just say maybe this shadow effect increase the distance and increase the blur size and shape outline make it no outline and put it here then press ctrl D to copy and this one I'm going to put here and then you can change the the shadow distance and the blur size again press ctrl D rotate it put this one here ctrl D again you see the rotation the the direction of the shadow is showing this one but I want the other side so I'm going to use this one and again adjust the blur and the distance and this also again I will say this here and the last one All right you can make it little curved so you can just give a little bit curved here don't make it straight give some little bit curve so once this is done
you can see here this doesn't look good uh, the shadow effect is clearly looking so for that I'm going to insert one more rectangle a somewhat bigger rectangle shape outline I'll make it no outline or uh, shape fill I'll give the same background fill and shape outline make it no outline no outline and then just hide the shadow effect here I'm just going to put this you can see here the shadow effect is you have to just rotate it properly and yeah so you can see here it is not visible now so I'm just going to copy it here again so this is blending with the background now is a uh, some work you need to do it's a little bit lengthy process so you can do it one by one on all of this and this is the last one yes all right and then i'm going to select these two and group it select these two and group one by one so that will help us in doing the animation you can see i'm selecting both and group it now this is done and next thing is you can go insert icons you can select any icons which you can download or if this option is not available in your powerpoint you can go to www.thenonproject.com and download it for example i just want to three four five and six insert and then i'm just going to add the icons here and of course you can you have to reduce the size and you have to make sure that this is aligned properly so I have not aligned it properly you have to adjust it so that it looks perfect so once this is done it's time to add the text so to add the text go to insert text box you can add a headline or you can add directly your text also add your text here and use some good font I'm going to use called century gothic and I'm just going to place it next to the icon and then you can group these two together control G so that this will help us in animation to come at once now I'm going to do the animation so for this go to animations enable the animation pane 
here I'm going to use a wipe effect wipe it should come from top you can see here and then the text should come here again wipe effect this should happen from left and make it after previous and then using the animation painter I'm just going to copy then again select this animation painter here and select this and this animation you can affect options you can say this is from right and this is also from right select this this should come from bottom and the last one sorry before that I have to do it this one and then and if you want you can insert some more icons here for that again you can go to insert icons I'll go to people here I can select any icon here and you can add your text here so let's see how it looks in the slideshow so here you can see that the cutout is visible here if you want you can animate this also for example let me just click it will show you the first second third fourth fifth and sixth so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.